determine the general solution of sine 3x plus cos x is equal to 0. Show all your workings to justify your answer. Okay. So what have we got here? So we got sine 3x plus cos 2x. So I would like to use the sums formula, but uh, this has to be changed into either sine or cos because you have the formula of sine c plus sine d or sine c minus sine d cos c plus cos d and so on. Well, so what can I do to change this into a sine formula? So this is sine 3x and this is cos 3x. So my, uh, I'm asking question whether this cos 3x can be changed into uh, into a sine form. So well, what's the relation between sine and cos. I'm going to write the next step like this, so I can write this as, let me use a neutral color, so say brown, so sine 3x, I'm writing sine 3x, so I'm asking the question whether cos 3x can be changed into a sine form. Well, cos 3x is nothing but sine 90 minus x. Cos is the supplementary of sine, so that's called. That's why it's called cosine or cos is equal to zero. Now let me write the sums formula. So the sums formula is like this: sine c plus sine d. You can look up in your formula sheet. Is equal to two sine two sine c plus d divided by 2, I'll put this in bracket, times cos c minus d divided by 2. So I hope you can compare your c with 3x and d with 90 minus x. So using that comparison, I can write the next step. So this is 2 sine let me put this in brackets. So this is 3x plus 90 minus x divided by 2 times cos. So you have to do c minus d. So I hope you understand this step. So 3x minus 90 plus x divided by 2 is equal to 0. So so this is nothing but 2 sine, so this is 3x minus x, which is 2x plus 90 divided by 2, and this is cos 3x plus x is 4x plus 90 divided by 2. So I can divide the, uh, this inside the bracket, so this is 2 sine. 2 sine, this is, I'm dividing both by 2, so this will be x plus 45 times cos, dividing by 2, oops, this is minus 90, this is minus 90, it's always good to check, so this is 2x minus 45 is equal to 0. Now, I can divide both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2. So this is sine x plus 45 times cos 2x minus 45. 2x minus 45 is equal to 0. Now I can set both of them equal to 0. So this is a x if x times y is 0, x is 0 or y is 0. So I can say, well, therefore, I can say sine x plus 45 is equal to 0 or cos 2x minus 45 is equal to 0. Now we want to write the general solution. So let me write the general solution formula. So if you look up in your formula sheet, there's a formula like this. If this is a formula, so let me write the general formula for sine. If sine theta is equal to sine alpha, 
then I'm writing this in degrees, then theta is 180n plus minus 1 raised to n times alpha. Okay, so this is the formula. So let us discuss this first. So can I write 0 as sine of something? Sine of what is 0? So let me bring back my brown color. So I can say sine x plus 45. So sine of 0 is 0. So I can say 0 can be written as sine 0. Okay, so now using the formula. So I hope you can compare your theta with x plus 45 and alpha with 0. So using that comparison, I can say x plus 45 is equal to 180n plus minus 1 minus 1 raised to n times alpha. Alpha is 0. So this becomes 0. So this is x plus 45 is equal to 180n. And taking away 45 from both sides, x is 180n minus 45. I'll explain this. This is a general solution. What does this mean in for a particular solution? I'll talk about that later. So this is one answer. Now if you take the this branch, so the general, let me write the general formula. If if for cos, you have got this formula, if cos theta is equal to cos alpha, then the formula is like this. Theta is equal to 2n uh, two power, which is 360n, 360 360n plus or minus alpha, plus or minus alpha. So now my question is, I want to use this formula, so I have to write 0 as cos of something. So I'm asking the question, so let me use black color. So cos of what is 0? Cos starts at, cos 0 is 1. So I hope you understand cos 90. Cos 90 is 0. If you know the cos graph, cos starts at 0, 0, 1, and hits 9, 0 at 90. So Using this formula, you can compare your theta with 2x minus 45 and your alpha with 90. Okay, so I can say 2x minus 45 is equal to 360n plus or minus 90. Okay, so here we have to branch out 2. From this, we'll have to branch out 2 equation to solve this. So this can be written as 2x minus 45 is equal to 360n plus 90. Okay, and I'll try to fix in here. 2x minus 45 is equal to 360n minus 90. Hopefully you can understand. So let me find more space. So adding 45 to both sides, I can say 2x is equal to 360n. Adding 45, this will become 135. And then dividing both sides by 2, <coughs> x is equal to 180n plus 67.5. 67.5. Okay, I'll explain the general or the particular solution once we finish here. So this is the second possibility. And yeah, if you add 45 to both sides, I can say 2x is equal to 360n, 360n minus 45. I hope you understand. Minus 90 plus 45 is minus 45. And if you divide by 2, this is 180n minus 22.5. So let us check whether our answer is right between 0 to 360. Okay, <clears throat> so let us we want let us find the particular solution between 0 to 360. So what does this mean in a particular case? We want our answers 
let us check our answer between 0 to 360 degree. So we want our x is our answer between 0 degree and 360 degree. Okay. So if you put, say, let us take this case, suppose x is equal to 180n minus 45. So you can't take n, you can take 180. Okay, so if n is n is 0, this will become, this will not be defined. So let's take n is 1. If n is 1, this implies x is 180 times 1 is 180 minus 45. So in this case it is, so x is uh, 180 take away 40 is 140 minus 5 is 135. So when n is 1, you got x is 135. So when n is when n is 2, if n is 2, this implies your x would be 360. 180 times 2 is 360 minus 45. So in that case, x would be 315. I'll show this on a calculator. So this is the second answer. This is the first answer. We've got six answers between 0 to 360. So let us take n here. If n is, say, if n is 0. If n is 0, uh, your x would be 67.5. Okay, so this is one option. When n is 1, when n is 1, what will happen? This will be, x would be, 180 plus 67.5 that is 180 plus 67.5 is how much I don't want to use the calculator yeah so n is uh, 180 plus 67.4 which is 247.5 am I right 247.5 so this is the fourth answer this is your third answer and this is your fourth answer. So let me squeeze this here. So here in this case, if n is, if n, you can't take 0 because this will become negative. If n is 1, your x would be 180 minus 22.5. So let me get my calculator. So 180, uh, 180 minus 22.5. Okay, which is 157.5. So this is my fifth answer. X is 157.5. Okay, so n if n is 2, if n is 2, the x would be, you can check that on the calculator. I already worked that out. That is 337.337.5. So these are the six answers. Let us continue. Uh, I have to stop the video. So the, f the sixth answer is 337.5. So let's use the calculator. So where's my calculator? So yeah, it's 180. One, okay, it'll be 360, isn't it? When n is 2, it'll be 360 minus 22.5, which is 337.5. So these are the six answers. Now let us check this on the calculator, the graphic calculator. If you have a graphic calculator, first let me change. Let us go to graph and let's type the equation. The equation that we are going to type in is sine bracket 3x plus cos x. Okay, just like that. I want to change my settings from radians to degrees. We are working in degrees here. And I will go and try to draw it. Okay, so shift G sol. I want to trig scale from 0 to 360. Okay, pitch of 90 will do. And here is a beautiful graph. Can you see? So we want to find where this graph, so let me, if you want to see this better, let us make change the y scale to say minus. 3 to plus 3 and see how it looks like okay that is like a uh, whatever it's like a roller coaster okay so let us go g sol g sol and root the first point is 
Okay, this is your first answer. The next answer is 135. Okay, you can check that. The next is 157.5. The next is 247.5. And 315. And the finally is 337.5. So these are the six answers that you get when you're solving this trig equation.